welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire 3 here on the Joypad channel. Last time I left off, I believe I was pretty much right in this spot. I said I was going to go grind a little bit, get everyone up to level 11, and here we are. Everyone's at level 11. Yeah, I could keep going. Um, using the Volt trick is pretty cool, but I, I don't want to like, completely trivialize the game. Not that that would happen, but I'm good with where I'm at. It's good enough for me to take on the next boss pretty easily, I'm sure, so we're just gonna go. Can't check that out, huh? Look at this old purple carpet. A woman's scream. <laughs> oh, there he is. Look at that gut. Oh my, what are you doing, Mr. McNeil? Come back here, you vixen. <laughs> Tee hee. Come back here, you vixen. <laughs> oh my god, look at his hair. Jeez. Oh, brother. Doesn't this just beat all? Who are you? Who cares who we are? We're here to take back all the money you've stolen. Eek! I don't have anything to do with this. Leave me out of it. Ah! To take back? <laughs> what do you mean? I just... I just... Oh, come on now, Mr. McNeil. You've been cheating the people of the village out of their money, so you could have your fun, haven't you? Whoa! Enough. You are a disgrace to the McNeils. That's them, Ray! These are the ghosts I killed. The ghosts of the old McNeils. The ghosts I killed? I don't know. Mm. Can you kill ghosts? <laughs> You may have surprised us before, but that was then. Now you must face us. Not this excuse for a McNeil. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Fuel our wrath. So here's our first, or our next major boss, Amalgam. Now, um... This fight is again made a little trivial due to the fact that we have the holy knives. Oh, I got that magic shard on the first try. Heck yeah. So, uh, yeah, these silver knives are gonna just absolutely massacre this guy. The most irritating thing that can really happen in this fight is that he can cast sleep, but Ray is getting an extra turn. So, I mean, he's probably already almost dead. There it is. Three rounds of battle. Got him. 70 experience. Not bad. 200 zeni. Pretty nice. And he's dead. What's going on? I, 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 I was just... I never did... Yikes. Take it easy, old man. Those were your ancestors. We're just here to take your money, okay? You're pretty dumb, aren't you? Hurry up and show us where the money is. The, the money's over there. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, please. Hey, Ryu. Come take a look at all this dough. You wimp. What a jerk. Those robbers are a lot more manly than you are. Uh-oh. He's laughing. And crying. Just you wait. We'll see who has the last laugh. You little brats. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. I'll show you who's the real power here. Little did the heroes of the Cedar Woods know. Uh, 
Um, the real trouble wouldn't begin until the next day. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Ray? That McNeil looked so silly. There's no one who can beat us. We're the best. I don't know if I would go that far, but I'd say things pretty well last. Went, bleh, bleh. I'd say things went pretty well last night, eh? I can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they see what we've done. Yep. Even the people in the vi village will start treating us with respect now. You bet they will. We haven't stolen anything lately. Get rid of that new. Come on, let's go down to the village. I want to hear everyone tell us how grateful they are. Alright, let's go. There's Bonnie. Of course, we can't still get into fights here. I Goose. How quaint. You scattered the enemy. Oh, two experience points. Oh boy. My cup. Run it over. The tutorial monsters are still there. Well, that's a surprise. Did you hear about last night? How someone came and left money all over the village? Now, who would do a crazy thing like that? It was me. Oh. Got into another fight here. Goblin, boss goblin. Uh. I think I probably should learn influence at some point, but I'm not doing it here. Maybe if I run into them again before I get out of the woods, I'll try. Scatter the enemy. Nice. Let's get out of here. It's the quickest. Oh, I was gonna say that's the quickest way out, but got into one more fight. I goose. How quaint. Got him. Give me that two experience. And eight zenny. I got a healing herb, that's pretty nice. Alright, now we're out of there. You don't really have another opportunity to grind, by the way. If you want to grind now, you just gotta get by with the random encounter spots. Let's go visit Magus. See if we can, uh, learn some spells. What do we got? Welcome back, my students. Tipo, you deserve a reward. Therefore, I give you this. Tipo learned Frost. He already knows Frost. Farewell. Come back after you've gotten stronger. Already, I'll teach you some of my spells. Welcome back, my students. Tipo, you deserve a reward, therefore I give you this. Tipo learned meditation. Is there anything else? Nope. I could scarcely imagine it would be so, but do you want to quit? No. Farewell. Come back after you've gotten stronger. If you're ready, I'll teach you some of my spells. Can we learn the next one? Nope. Dang. Uh, oh well, that's fine. So, we already know Frost, or Tipo already knows Frost, but I believe Meditation raises intelligence when used. So that basically makes his intelligence, it doubles his intelligence and makes his spells way stronger, which is nice. Um, the last spell we can learn is Magic Ball, which is pretty powerful, but... I guess we won't be seeing it for a while. Check out the camp. I wonder what the villagers will say to us now. Somehow I get the feeling Loki's just using us. But the villagers will get the money back, so they should be happy. Right? Alright, I just wanted to hop in there and see what they had to say. I want to try and remember to do that throughout the game. Head on in.
Hey, how about all that money, huh? Me? I didn't take anything. If you mean that money on the porch, I gave it back to Mr. McNeil. Hmm. Hey man, how about that money? Sorry, nothing for sale for you. Okay. Woof! How about you? How about that money? You bring it to Mr. McNeil's house and take his money, and then scatter it all over town. What were you thinking? I wake up, there's money sitting on the porch. Then one of the mayor's men comes, running from the manor in a hurry. It was one of your pranks, wasn't it? Huh. This is sounding negative. Hey, you punks! You've got a lot of nerve showing your faces around here. Oh dear. Hey, remember that time I, we killed the new? Those were good times, right everyone? Right? Let's, let's, talk, let's talk to the innkeeper. Thanks a lot. Thanks to you, now McNeil thinks we're thieves too. Where's Loki? Hey, buddy. Hello, Ray. Nice weather, eh? Hey? hey, Loki. We did just like you said. We gave McNeil's money to everyone. so loudly people will hear you and you'll find out it'll kill me I I definitely gave him a different accent before but I forget it already what are you so afraid of anyway Civic Neil was the bad guy Shh. all right all right just don't talk about that here you talk about it in the hut you go on ahead okay Ray, something's wrong. We'll get that Loki fellow to explain what's going on. That's not Loki, that's a cow. Bunyan. I was hired to take care of the cows, so whatever I say is going to be to the cows. What's going on? We're waiting for Loki. Hey, cow. Do you hear that the f that fellow Loki thought he could have an easy life if he got a hold of McNeil's money? But he didn't know that McNeil was working for a big gang of crooks. That doesn't like being stolen from. Sounds pretty dangerous, doesn't it, cow? What does he mean, Ray? It means... We shouldn't be hanging around here too long. I think we should be getting back home. Quick. Alright. Let's head on out of here. So it turns out that um, stealing from the mayor wasn't the brightest idea. Shame that. Even if he deserved it. Sounds like there might be some repercussions for our actions. So let's just head back home and have a pint and wait for the whole thing to blow over, shall we? Influence. There we go, I learned it. Kipo learned influence. So... It seems like that might not be a very useful spell, but, um, well, you're right. It won't be for quite a while, but once it's useful, I'll be very glad I have it. You won the battle. I have experience. 15 Zemi. This morning, there was a stack of money in front of the house. When Mom saw it, she got all pale and took it off somewhere. I wonder what that was all about. There were some strange looking fellas here a minute ago. I sure didn't like the look of them. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Ooh. 
Ripper. Dead. Great victory. Oof. Gotta fight a hundred... a hundred and one more battles like that if I want Ray to level up. Oh, dang it. This isn't where I wanted to go. Hey, maybe I can get some money. Yeah, two zenny. Worth it. Very glad I came over here now. Two extra zenny. Gong head. Gong dead. Haha. <laughs> 100 more battles like that for a level up. Whew, when it gets put into perspective like that. Man. Alright. Let's get home. Dang it. Two rippers. Dead. And. Oh. Wow, Ray is actually blinded there. Dead. Five experience. Ten cent. I'll take it. That sounds bad. Well, what? What the? What's going on? What's happened? Ray! Hmm, I was wondering what our thieves might look like. It's just a bunch of kids, ain't they, bro? No worries, eh, Sunder? Time for school. The lesson in the school of life, eh? You mean... you? That's right. You're a little too big for your britches, my boy. Now it's time for your spanking, so get on over here. Hey, check it out, bro! They're gonna try and fight! Kids. They just don't want to do what they're told, do they? Oh, this fight. So here's the, here's the thing. Of all the things that the strategy guide got wrong, they tell you that you can win this fight. You cannot win this fight. You can't. It has been disproven. In the in the guide it says if you level up enough and if you, you know, use this certain strategy, it's it's very difficult, but you can win this fight. Not true. I think they mistake it for a fight later on that it's possible to win against Sunder and Balio, because you fight them multiple times, but this fight. They have no HP values. Their sprites are just placeholders. People have game sharked in and hacked the game's code and done like over a million damage, which at this point in the game, you know, a boss should have like 500 HP, not a million. They don't have HP values. You can't win this fight. That said, I'm gonna try and win this fight. So one thing you can do is Sunder is dumb, dumb enough that you can use influence. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna cast Protect on Ray. You can also steal from them, I believe. Now Ray's on point, so he... will take the most damage. Cast Influence. Like I said, Sunder's dumb enough that he'll attack his own brother. However, Bailey is the big damage healer. He can cast Lightning, which as you can see, takes off more than half of our party's HP. So, I mean, one more cast of Lightning and we're done. I'm not gonna bother healing. Because like I said, you can't win this fight, you are supposed to lose. As big a bummer as that is, this is one of those fights. It's just supposed to happen. Qua. 
When we wake up, it's just for you. All I found was you, alone and wounded in the woods. I always told you, you'd get in trouble one day. But I never thought something like this would happen. I'm afraid that Tipo and Ray are... Where do you think you're going? Looking for them? Uh, yeah. Windia? Did you say you were going to Windia? See, you watch yourself, you hear me? Just follow the road east. And that's that's it, man. We just got real. Our party has shrunk. What's real depressing is when we go into camp, which I'll show off here. Ryu can set up camp by himself, I guess. But there's no one around. If we go here. Look at skill notes. Yep. Everything that uh, Tipo learned is in here. That's not a good look. Anyways. I'm giving him Frost for a very good reason, which will become evident soon. Um, I don't know if I'll show it off this battle. Or, er, I mean, this episode. I got a couple minutes left. So yeah, there's no one to talk to. Ray and Tipo are gone. Um, you can actually go back to the house if you want. Look, even on the world map, it's all it's burnt out. There's no reason to go back. You can't actually get it. Like you can get into it, part of it, but it's no good. So Mount Mernig. Road connecting to Wintia. Let's go. Now this place can actually be pretty tough since you've only got one party member. Just as a fair warning. Uh, nut mages. So the nut people have very high um, evasion. What you want to do is use magic on them. They're especially vulnerable. To fire. You can, I think, learn Flare from them, but I had learned Burned earlier from the Mage Goose. So I'm just gonna do this. The Nut people have very low HP and very high evasion. And you're better off just casting magic at them, to be honest. So we come over here. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. My name's Tall Man. If you're interested, I can tell you all about different creatures' weak points. I don't need that. <laughs> you're finished. You're nothing without Flame or Frost to back you up. I have both of those, my guy. Also, there's an icicle there. So why is that important? Well, number one, like I just said, you want to use fire against nut people, but against Tar Man. You want to use Frost. Tarman is frozen. So once you use Frost on them, they freeze. And then all you gotta do is hack away. You gain 70 experience from fighting them. Which is pretty damn nice. That's more than the Volts. And... It costs... What, 2 AP to cast Frost? Alright, well, can't go that way. I kinda don't remember the setup of this mountain, because it's, it's like, it's a road dungeon, which means if I want to go back from Windia to McNeil, I have to go through this place. Alright, so you can learn an ability from the Nut Tree, if he ever does it. I'm gonna try and learn it here because it's pretty handy. It's 
See, the problem here is that as soon as I don't examine, he's going to do it. There it is. Dang it! I'm trying to learn double blow, but it's not happening. I'm actually getting beat up pretty bad, so let's just finish this battle off. Cast burn. Got him. And cast burn again. Ah! Hopefully I'll get a battle with just a nut troop and I can learn it there. There's also a nut archer. Who we have not run into yet. Um, they're pretty tough as well. I'm gonna use the healing herb. Hopefully I'll run into a couple more Tarmen. Nothing. What do we got? Oh, Ripper. Rippers are easy. Except for the fact that they're still faster than a huh? Gotcha. Seven experience. Now I do want to search for items, because I believe there are items to be had. Like if I head down here, nothing there. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Not mage. Yeah, just burn it. Burn it to the ground. Gotcha. Seventeen experience. I mean, that's not terrible. Aha! Protein! That's another stat boosting item. Where it will permanently increase, I believe, defense? Not sure though. Maybe attack. A ladder, a lot of ladders to climb up. But you can see there's a little sliver of land there. I believe there's an item back there. Let's burn the mage. And I'm going to try and learn Double Blow. Examine. Try it again. Examine. Try it again. Examine. Try it again. Examine. There it is! Ryu now knows Double Blow. It's pretty handy, I won't lie. Now, Double Blow doesn't cause quite as much damage as a regular attack. Er, I mean, it attacks twice, but those attacks don't do as much as a regular attack. But I believe that the two of them together, it's worth it to use over a regular attack. Of course, there's a chance that it'll miss. No, not a vitamin. Just an herb. Yep, look at that. A bat amulet. I don't know what that does. It prevents... It's some sort of status prevention item, I believe. Jump down over here. Oh, shoot. We're getting close on time. Alright, everyone. Well, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Uh... Game's taking a turn. We're down to just Ryu, but I'm gonna keep on soldiering on. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. Gaming videos go up every day on this channel, as well as the Joypad podcast on Sundays. And also, I do music reviews several times a week. You would check out any or all of that content. I would greatly appreciate it. That said, I will see you in the next video. Stay joyful. Bye-bye.